Hello, I was a member of the catacomb culture that existed during the Bronze Age. The catacomb culture represented a clear and unbroken continuation of the Yamnaya culture, with up to 100% genetic and Y-DNA continuity. It is interesting to note that it was within the catacomb culture where the earliest evidence of war chariots was found, predating similar discoveries in the Sintashta culture. In the Middle Bronze Age, a substantial number of catacomb groups migrated southward to the Caucasus region, and it is believed that they are the direct ancestors of the Proto-Armenians. I belong to a unique genetic gradient between the Bronze Age Hofskol and Agerzhul populations, with minimal to no Indo-European ancestry. The Liusui samples indicated a distinct migration of Khosgol Bronze Age-related peoples to the southwestern Tarim Basin, separate from the main Scytho-Siberian expansions. This suggested the persistence of Agerzhul Bronze Age populations until the later Bronze Age or even the Iron Age. Hi, I'm a 35-year-old Tokarian. The Tokarians were an Indo-European people who resided in the Tarim Basin, which was located in present-day Xinjiang, China. Extensive linguistic, archaeological, and ongoing genetic research suggests that we likely descended from the Afanasyevo culture, which had settled in the region during the early Bronze Age. The Afanasi Evans played a significant role in the cultural and ethnic development of various ancient peoples, including the Kemerchek, who are considered potential speakers of the Proto-Tokarian language. I am a representative of the nomadic population that inhabited the sites in Jiaozhu during the Saka and Sakwusan periods, which spanned from approximately 400 BC to 300 AD. The majority of the craniums discovered in these sites belong to the Wusan period, while to belong to the Saka period, displaying similar anthropological features. According to historical sources, the region experienced a series of migrations, including the Yuzi and Wusan, which had an impact on the population. Hello, I was a Sant of Rowan who lived on the territory of modern Georgia during the period 2100 BP. The Sant of Rowans of the early Bronze Age were colonizers who undertook a migration from western Georgia. Toshida Kartley, playing a crucial role in the cartvelization of East Georgia. I, as an individual, am a direct descendant of these early Sant of Rowans and resided during or in close proximity to the formation of the Kingdom of Iberia. Hello! I was a member of the Yambulak culture. I lived during the Iron Age in a place now known as Xinjiang, China. The Yambulak culture, which belonged to the Iron Age, had a material culture that defied simple classification in terms of origin. Similar to the earlier Tianchen Bila site, our culture existed at the crossroads of Eastern and Western influences. The Qijia and Siba cultures from Qinghai and Gansu regions played a significant role in shaping our culture. Before the emergence of the Yambulak culture, there were traces of the influence of the Kemerchek culture during the Bronze Age. Therefore, our culture can be seen as a syncretic combination of the Kemerchek and Upper Yellow River populations, a process that had started centuries before at Tianchen Bilu. If you liked the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.